wouldn't the stand be easier is what this comment says. It was made in regards to a post where I was acknowledging some great changes a friend was having with their triglycerides and their total cholesterol numbers. So wouldn't a statin be easier, the prescription drug that we as physicians usually prescribe? Let me give you some more information for you to decide. So let's talk about what these statin drugs do. They block this critical enzyme, HMG coenzyme A. And blocking that stops the production of all forms of cholesterol. But unfortunately, while this medication, the leading drug that we prescribe to get down cholesterol is because it does things the best, has a long list of side effects. Headaches, SAMS, an acronym used to describe the statin-associated muscular symptoms, the muscle aches and weakness, the difficulty sleeping, the drowsiness, the dizziness, the skin problems, flushing, rashes, or even infections. It even can increase your blood sugar levels, digestive problems, and then low platelet levels. And who's more at risk for getting these side effects? You know, women, my people, people over age 65. That's my grandma. That's my great grandma. Those are my aunties. Those are my uncles. People who have small body frames because just because you're small doesn't mean that you have great metabolic health. People who are taking multiple medications. That goes back to my grandmas and my aunties, right? Drinking too much alcohol. That makes sense since the enzyme works on the liver. Having liver or kidney disease, that makes sense because it works on the liver and everything we take in our body, especially if it's synthetic, has to be cleared by the kidney. And then having vitamin D deficiency. Okay, so taking a pill can be easier. I mean, duh, you just put it in your mouth, right? But is it worth the cost? Especially if you're somebody who's at risk for those side effects. You saw the list, right? So this is why I push the lifestyle changes on my patients first, especially those who are okay with doing that. I'd rather help them get their cholesterols down without this cost. Look, I'm just about trying to help you all need less prescriptions to enjoy more living. And taking a pill can be easier, but is it worth the cost? Uh, okay, so I'm wandering around school. This is gonna be a weird day. Probably that'll be my vlog. This video will be the vlog and everything. But the video clip you see before me is a doctor being wrong. Um, the doctor using unregulated natural, natural remedies to work with triglycerides and cholesterol. Your triglycerides are highly volatile. You can have a 500 point swing in a month. In fact, the last time I had my triglycerides checked, they were 468 because I accidentally had a 400 calorie hot chocolate right before the test, along with not fasting long enough. Um, the time before that, they were like 117. Normal range is supposed to be under 150, but they're volatile. It's just like blood sugar. Normal range for fasting glucose is under 100. My glucose was 108, but my A1C was 4.7, which is one. 100 basis points under where it would be a problem. <clears throat> and two, a measure of the last 90 or so days. Maybe a little bit less for me. Uh, because I have hemoglobin issues with the anemia, or maybe a little bit more, depending on what happened with my red blood cells. And sure, statins have side effects, but we've also got the PCKS9 inhibitors. We've got medications to fix this cholesterol issue. Your LDL should be under 100. Ideally, you know, dog, Dr. Allo says this, ideally under like 57, <clears throat> because you won't hit 5,000 until you're 90. You multiply 57 by 90, it's like 5,000. Um, I love Dr. Allo's content. You should check him out. I don't believe this doctor is a cardiologist. I believe she's a um, internist or a hospitalist. Uh, not 100% sure. Or a primary care provider. But in my life, I've learned that you can't always trust doctors for a few reasons. One, I dated a pre-med once who uh, I had to explain concepts in endocrinology to her in regards to uh, hormone replacement therapy for trans people, which was fine. She just didn't know, but that was like what she wanted to go into. She also didn't understand how cannibalism could be fatal. She thought it was just an ethics thing, which it can be fatal because of prions. So it's also why you don't eat brain. <laughs> I once went to a doctor 
to try to get started on estradiol and spironolactone. And just because I'm overweight, the doctor said, no hormones until you get your diabetes under control. I don't have diabetes. The doctor had a blood test literally from three weeks prior with my A1C at 4.6. It, it hovers between 4.4 and 4.6 for me. So like, no diabetes. I've learned that you can't always trust everything a doctor says. Well, almost time for class, so that's fun. Still not feeling the greatest. Like I was saying on Thursday, Tuesday, I wasn't feeling great. But it feels like it's almost the end. I had a little bit of a headache, a little bit of a sore throat. Just went to the bathroom, didn't throw up or anything. <coughs> didn't want to come today, but because of stupid attendance policies, I did. And then there's also an exam in the class on Tuesday, which I'm not looking forward to. It's the worst class I've ever taken since seventh grade science. <laughs> That was the year the teacher accused me of slashing her tires. That was a whole thing. Um, really not much going on today. Just sort of waiting until three, cause, or two, because after my class, I did make an appointment with um, a librarian in regards to the Chaucer thing. Um, I haven't gotten the actual paper back to copy and paste everything over into the um, uh, Word doc yet. But I'm gonna start working on it because it's it's really sad. I remembered the yeah, I remember the essay. I thought about it for the entire summer <coughs> because it was unhinged. It was absolutely unhinged, but the professor enjoyed the interpretation, which is good um, because it's gonna allow me to get into more. I'm gonna have to uh, get more into Chaucer's biography as well as some more into the culture of squires and knights, which will be interesting. Um, there is a text that I'm already going to use, which is teaching rape in the medieval classroom, because I used that in my research paper for the Chaucer class. That was about a different thing, because that class was why we should, that, that paper was basically why we should still teach Chaucer, even though he's incredibly problematic with, with you know, sexual assault and violence. Um, very unfortunate that Chaucer's known for that, uh, because Chaucer's an amazing writer. Some of the most amazing written works I've ever seen are from Chaucer. Canterbury Tales, Knight's Tale, work of art. General Prologue, work of art. Miller's Tale, Mil Reeves Prologue and Tale, work of art. Cook's Tale, shitpost. Absolute classic shitpost during, during the medieval time. The Cook's Tale, Unless we ever find more of it, 100% of shit post. So I ended up having to go home early today from school, from not being able to actually do the things I wanted to do, from being sick. I'm pretty sure I have the common cold, which is fine. I'm feeling better now, right around midnight, so I'm going to go to bed shortly. Probably watch the rest of this Mariners game since I'm up. I'll put some NyQuil in me, and hopefully that'll knock me out. Um, usually does. And yeah.